Alright, in this video we'll do knock out hopefully our other two examples here of finding a unit vector um, for a given vector. So part B we've got a vector that has components one half and one eighth. Well this one might be a little more tedious just because of the fractions. Uh, again maybe I'll call this, uh, we can call it vector W. So if we find the magnitude of vector W, again we'll just take each component and square it. So let's see, um, one half squared is going to give us one fourth, one eighth times one eighth is going to give us one over sixty four. Well we could always clean this up a little bit by getting common denominators. Let's see, I guess uh, we would have to multiply top and bottom of our first fraction by, it looks like to me, like by sixteen. So if we multiply by sixteen and by sixteen. We'll have 16 on top. Uh, again, 16 times 4 is going to give us 64 plus 1 over 64. If we simplify that, we'll get the square root of 17 over 64. But we could even clean this up a little bit more. If we take the square root of the top over the square root of the bottom, that's just going to give us the square root of 17 over 8. Okay, so that's going to be the magnitude of our vector. So again, what we have to do in this case, uh, I'm going to squeeze it down here in the bottom right. So we're dividing, we're taking our vector with components 1 half and 1 eighth, and we're dividing that by the magnitude, the square root of 17 over 8. But again, when you're dividing by a number, that's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to take 8 over root 17, and I'm going to multiply that by 1 half and by 1 eighth. Let's see, I think I'm going to run out of room here. That's okay. Let's squeeze it in here on another page. So we would have to distribute, is all we have to do in this case. Um, so we'll get 8 over root 17 times 1 half, comma, 8 over root 17 times 1 eighth. And well, um, we can always simplify a little bit. So 8 over 2 will be 4 over root 17. 8 over 8 is just 1, so we'll have 1 over root 17. You could always rationalize the, uh, the denominators. You could multiply top and bottom by the square root of 17. Um, I don't know how important that is. Let's go ahead and do it. We get 4 root 17 on top over 17. If we multiply top and bottom by the square root of 17, we'll be left with the square root of 17 over 17. Okay, so to me that would be the unit vector for our vector with components 1 half comma uh, 1 eighth. So let's do our, our very last one here as well, um, the one that has components 0 and 5. That one doesn't look too terrible at all. So I think we can do this one real quick. So um, maybe we'll call this vector P for Patrick. Um, so we'll find the magnitude of this vector here. Again, we just take each component and, well, we square it. Well, 0 squared is 0, 5 squared is 25. The square root of 25, hey, we just get 5 back. So all we have to do for our, uh, our vector here in part C is we'll just take 0 comma 5. We'll divide that by its magnitude, which is 5. Um, again, that's the same thing as multiplying by one-fifth. Well, if we multiply, uh, if we distribute our one-fifth, our first component will still be zero. Uh, our second component will turn into a one. And now we've got a unit vector that's pointing in the same direction as the original one, but simply has a length of one. So. That's all there is to it in these. It's just simply a matter of calculating the magnitude, uh, taking your vector, dividing it by the magnitude. To me, the only thing that can really be that can make these problems difficult is if, you know if you're given kind of you know not nice numbers, you know uh, where you have to square them and have fractions or weird decimals or et cetera, et cetera. But other than that, that's all there is to it. You just take the magnitude, uh, excuse me, take your vector, divide it by the magnitude, um, distribute that number inside. Um, and that's pretty much it.